I'm not saying acne products have ingredients in it that will make you keep buying more acne products. What I'm saying is a possibility. Hey guys, it's Sharon. So last month, which was January, I uploaded my period morning routine and this has been long awaited and long requested. That is my period night routine. But of course, your girl had to wait until she had her period again. So here we are. <laughs> so I guess you could say this is kind of a part two. Basically, I'm just going to go over my extremely realistic period night routine, especially when it's been like a long and busy day because that is precisely what I've had today. I am so different defeated. I am so sore. I don't know how my body is still like moving, but we're here. So if you want to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikToks. So you have a say in my videos, get a chance to be in them and also get to be a shout out of the day. And of course, make sure that you're subscribed and that your post notifications are turned on. If you do want to go check out my period morning routine, definitely go do that. The only thing that has changed since then is I started waking up a little bit earlier and walking every single day. That's the only thing that's really changed. Now my night routine. Usually what happens is I get home or if I'm already home, I'd make dinner and that's usually kind of like this is how the night starts, but it has been such a long day for me. It is currently like a Sunday when I'm filming this and on Sundays I meal prep. So I have been cooking all day. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is shower because I feel so gross. That's where we're heading right now and luckily my bathroom is like literally right there. Just like every single time I am in this bathroom, I'm going to apologize for the noise it makes. I just want to show you guys the current state of um my bathroom sink area because it's you can tell I'm on my period so these are <laughs> my dirty reusable pads technically they're not dirty these are the ones I've already used and I've washed them but I haven't put them in the laundry yet and these are my clean ones in my little freaking Weasley Brothers from Harry Potter bag I am currently wearing one so I'm gonna switch out of that one and switch into one of these and actually that's technically gonna be the first thing I do before showering. Before I actually go through the process of me like actually cleaning my pad, I know someone out there is gonna ask, hey, do you like a reusable pad? Like, what's it like? I made a video a while ago, you can find it in my All About Periods playlist, where I tested a reusable pad for the first time ever for an entire 24 hours. Ever since that video, I've never looked back. I only use reusable pads. It's my absolute most favorite product in the world. It's like become like my go-to. I can never go back to disposable products. It can be a bit of a hassle like the cleanup process but it's really not that bad and I'm actually just gonna walk you guys through the cleanup process right now so that being said potential blood warning I'm not gonna show you all the blood because it's it's a lot but I will tell you it holds a lot of blood so let's go give you a little preview again blood warning <laughs> so this is what the pad looks like like you can obviously see some blood there what I do is I just run it through water first and get just a little bit of blood out when it comes to using a reusable pad you can't be afraid of touching your own blood and honestly like I don't know using a reusable pad has made me feel more connected to my body and my period if that makes sense and it holds so much more than that guys this is like a day's worth I changed my pad at like 9 in the morning and it's about 9 30 at night so this has been on for 12 hours and it holds so much blood so I'm just gonna continue cleaning it and we'll talk about it <laughs> a few moments later so I just keep washing it and wringing it until the water runs clear again so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this fill for a bit and then I take my pad and I place it face down and I let it soak in there for usually just the duration of my shower so now your girl's gonna shower but that's basically it I want to say it takes me like maybe five minutes maybe less honestly maybe three or four it's really not that bad and I'd rather do that than go through disposable products I bought these off of Amazon I will link them down below I want to say there's like six layers of stuff that's like holding your blood it's freaking awesome really depending how much I bleed depends on how often I change it and at the end when I run out of pads and I've hand washed them I just toss them in the water washer and run them through a cycle and then wear them again <laughs> but now we are going to shower oh actually before i hop in the shower i want to show you guys these things i found at target i'm all up in your face right now what's up <laughs> i made tiktoks about these so if you want to see more in-depth stuff about this check my tiktok and my instagram but it is this dr teal it's this Epsom 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 salt soak for menstrual relief 
and I also got the foaming bath not sponsored but I was very curious because they're new literally says new if you want to see how that went go check out my tiktok or my instagram at Sharon Cancio <laughs> and now I'll see you after my shower many many minutes later now i am out of the shower and i'm gonna show you how i put my pad on my underwear <laughs> so it's super simple it's honestly kind of like you would put on a regular pad except this time you are not sticking it you are instead clasping it to your underwear and look it's so easy i could do it one-handedly so i usually put it on the second class and that's it you just clasp it on and honestly it doesn't shift as much as you think it would it does shift a bit but also it's long if i'm not mistaken i got like the overnight one just to wear all the time because i do have a heavy flow and the way you determine if you have a heavy flow or a light flow i look crusty <laughs> if you find yourself changing your period products often then more than likely you have a heavier flow i promise i'm not naked youtube it's just like a towel grab some pjs alert <laughs> i usually just wear like an oversized shirt if i could find one i found one okay <laughs> now since i just got out of the shower i I am going to wring out my pad. So I just let the water out and then I really just like wring it out as much as I can. And then I grab this and I honestly, I just put it here to dry. I'm gonna go grab lunch, lunch. Oh my God, I am tired. I'm gonna go grab dinner and then like, we'll do like my face stuff before bed for the most part. I really do not like eating dinner this late. I try to eat dinner around like seven or nine just cause like really not that good to eat this late. Look, it's baby Sharon dressed as Tinkerbell, that's me and my brother. Oh my God, look, is Fluffy. Hey, Fluff, say something. No, okay, she's camera shy. Anyways, <laughs> I try not to eat that late. Obviously, it didn't work out today. So here is everything I meal prep for tomorrow. This is dinner, this is breakfast, this is lunch. For tonight, I am having tacos. I bought this kit from Costco. I am so excited, I love tacos. I actually just did think of a great period hack that I did not tell you guys <laughs> while I was in the shower, and it's a shower period hack. When you get out of the shower and you're terrified of leaking, put your pad on your underwear, your fresh new pad, stick it on your underwear and put your underwear right next to the shower door for when you come out, you are able to quickly dry off and put the pad on. And also just a general life hack for whoever has a vagina out there, make sure your vagina stays dry. So before you put on a pad, like make sure your vagina actually is dry because if you have a still wet vagina, you put on a pad, you put on underwear, shorts, pants, whatever, you you are locking that moisture in a dark, wet spot, which is where bacteria grows. You do not want anything growing down there because it isn't that fun, I'll tell you that, but let's get these tacos ready because I'm starving. <laughs> I probably should have heated these on the stove just so it could like taste better, but I am way too impatient for that and starving, so. Literally look how good these look. Now, when you're on your period, there are actually like foods you wanna avoid and that includes like super salty foods because salt sadly makes you bloated. My my drink that I'm having is just water. It is already super important to drink water, but even more important when you're on your period because of all your blood loss and your dehydration, water is extra important while you're on your period. If I'm feeling like super crampy and super bloated, I will sometimes make tea before bed and I specifically have this peach, ginger, and turmeric tea. Turmeric itself and ginger are really good for when you're on your period. They help with inflammation. They help with bloating basically. So so if I feel really, really bloated that night, I'll make some tea, but for the most part, it's really just water and I try to avoid everything else. When you're on your period, try to avoid super sugary stuff. Try to avoid chocolate, even though I definitely have some chocolate every now and then, just because all that sugar can cause acne and you're already prone to breakouts when you're on your period. There are ways to fill the cravings without hurting yourself. But for now, I'm gonna eat my tacos and I'm gonna watch some Netflix while I eat my tacos. Right now I'm binging Jessica Jones, so yes, please. You want some? No, you can't. Mm. Y'all, I had one job and I did not do a good job. I had another taco, so I had four tacos. And then I was craving chocolate. <laughs> so I had a little tiny chocolate piece. And then I was like, oh my God, I still want something sweet. So I had some chocolate mix. <laughs> I wish I had more self-control, truly, but like right now she's just not here. So basically right now we're just gonna get ready for bed. 
bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, do all that, yada, yada, yada. I don't know if you care, but this is the toothpaste I use. It's Sensodyne. Uh, my dentist recommends this always, always preached about it. So that's my go-to. I got my mouthwash. I am the type of person that actually uses mouthwash for bed and stuff in the morning. It, don't ask me why, I don't know. But this is what I use. Goodbye, taco breath. <laughs> oh, I wanna know, do you guys wet your toothbrush first? Like before you put on the toothpaste? or after you put on the toothpaste. I think like I used to be um, on the toothpaste girl and then like I'd hate how it splashed some of my toothpaste off. So now I just wet the toothbrush first, so. Before I use mouthwash, I actually like to use my tongue scraper, which I've talked about this in like my first Amazon favorites video. Bought these off of Amazon, it is literally a tongue scraper. Like you just scrape this on your tongue and it cleans like all that gunk off your tongue, which really helps when it comes to like bad breath. Cause like, that's like one of my biggest fears. Like this, you literally just like, actually <laughs> fun trick here. Um, to kind of stop your gag reflex and to avoid gagging, grab your thumb and just go like this. Do with that what you will. I don't know what you're doing that you don't need to gag, but it helps when you want to scrape your tongue. So you literally just like, uh, uh, and scrape it. I'm not gonna do it because it looks kind of gross, but like, you get what I'm saying. Now some mouthwash. Now for my face, I mentioned in my morning routine, I feel like I'm talking down to you guys. In the morning, I only rinse my face with water. The only time I do use product on my face, this is African black soap. If you have dry skin, I don't know if I'd recommend this. Definitely talk to a dermatologist before this, but I've been using this for over a year. I bought this bar over a year ago and I've only used maybe about half of it. So it's lasted me a very long time. First I like wet my face, like I damp it and then I apply it and then I just scrub it in for at least like a minute. Guys, my skin has never been so clear in my life that I can remember and all it took was just literally using less product let's wash my face now I'm just gonna rub it in this is also great for like any other part of your skin that is prone to acne, like back knee, if you get acne on your chest, acne, I don't know, literally anywhere else. I will never ever go back to using any other products. I can get the neck, which by the way, this, if you break out in this area, this is a lot of hormonal spots. Like this is like a main hormonal breakout. There's like acne maps out there. So you can figure out why you're breaking out on your cheeks, your forehead, your lip, whatever. You can figure out why you're breaking out in those spots. Get them in there. Okay. I need to dry my face. I can't open my eyes. <laughs> my bun undid itself while I was drying my face. And honestly, I'm so sick and tired of putting it up. So it's just staying down because I'm done washing my face anyways. Oh, by the way, actually pat dry. I don't know why. Just patting dry is better than like scrubbing it. Next, we're gonna moisturize. So for moisturizer, I use this right here. This is Pond's. I use the Clarent B3 just cause it's like a dark spot correcting cream. Dark spots are basically kind of like those acne scars. I don't think I have too many anymore. Cause like scarring was always a big thing for me. This one is specifically for normal to oily skin. I think they make normal to dry skin. I think they make combination. Either way, this has always been like my go-to. A little goes a long way. So rub that in. Make sure to moisturize your neck too. I started using this new product that I found off of TikTok. It's by Good Molecules. It's called the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. It says it's formulated to help revitalize and energize the eye area. I don't have the worst under eye circles, but I don't have the best either. So this I apply a little bit on right before bed and I'm not gonna I have only been using it for like a week. I don't expect it to have done anything after a week. So whether or not it does something, we'll keep you updated. Again, a little goes a long way. I'm just gonna do this and I rub it outwards, like following my little bone right here and then tap to make sure it's in and then repeat. Easy stuff, guys, I'm telling you. Your girl does not want to use 1200 products and listen, the lesser products have actually given me the best results. But again, I say this all the time, everybody is different. So what works for me might not work for you and it's a lot of trial and error and that's just life. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much my night routine because now I just get into bed and watch TV and fall asleep. <laughs> now, actually going to bed and going to sleep. Some tips I want to give you is try to get a lot of sleep and get enough sleep especially. If you have struggles with like cramps, they hurt, they suck so badly. So I actually keep a heating pad next to me when I'm on my period. It's right here. I keep my heating pad. I have some Gatorade for extra hydration and my cup of water. I always go to bed with a cup of water next to me just so like if I wake up thirsty, I have water and also drink that right in the morning. So the heating pad stays next to me at all times. When it comes to cramps and like sleeping positions, 
positions, sleep in the fetal position. From my understanding, it helps stretch specific muscles to help prevent cramps. And if you are a side sleeper, sleep with a pillow in between your knees. So also when you are sleeping in this fetal position, this is literally just for like spinal alignment as well. So you're not messing up your spine. Last tip that I can think of, kind of obvious, but it's always great to remind you, use a towel on top of your sheets if you're scared of staining or leaking through or bleeding through your pad. Sleeping with a towel under you is better safe than sorry if you are a heavy bleeder and you have a heavy flow because at least your blood will get on the towel and not your sheets. So you're not rushing to have to change your sheets and wash your sheets. It's so much easier to just handle a towel. Honestly, my night routine is not too crazy. I like keeping it kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Low energy, low effort, but gets the job done. We love to see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this a thumbs up in the comments below. I want you to tell me like kind of what your night routine is or give me your biggest like period tip that you use when it comes to like going to bed and like your night routine and whatever you're doing. So fun stuff. We love to share all the hacks and all the tips. Now shout out of the day goes to Alora on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you'd like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And like I mentioned, I did make a period morning routine. So you can definitely go check that out. I do also want to eventually make like a shaving routine video and maybe even do like a period shower routine. So if you want to see those, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other period related video that you would like me to make or like to see from me, also let me know in the comments. I do have two period playlists for you. I have my all about periods playlist, which is every single period related video I've ever made, including tips, hacks for school, period questions, trying period products. And also I have my period horror stories playlist, where it's solely just my period horror stories that I upload at once a month, every single month at the end of the month. Lots of bingeable content. So if you want to see more, definitely subscribe for more. But for now, I am going to honestly watch Netflix until I fall asleep. <laughs> I don't have school in the morning or anything. I already graduated. I did my time, but y'all have fun out there. <laughs> Either way, I will see you guys next time. Bye.